This is just another con game by the Democrats calling something one thing Gentlemen's and saying time another. Has expired. This is making the IRS, which is the time has expired. The Pentagon, the State the woman, Department. Gentlemen is no longer lie. recognized. The gentleman from Missouri reserves the bet. Mr. Speaker. How much time do you need? The gentlewoman is no longer recognized. I know that Ms. Bobert would like everybody to be armed, as they are in, in her restaurant, but that's not what IRS agents do. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Insanity is doing the same thing repeatedly and expecting a different result. That makes the supporters of this legislation, by definition, insane. I will yield an additional 30 seconds to the gentlelady from Colorado to finish her comment. Gentlemen is recognized for an additional 30 seconds. This bill hires 87,000 new IRS agents and they are armed and the job description tells them that they need to be required to carry a firearm and expect to use deadly force if necessary. Excessive taxation is theft and the chairman said that we are using the power of the federal government in this bill. You're darn right you are. You're using the power of the federal government for armed robbery on the taxpayers. I can only see why that this was rushed through committee and put on the floor. Gentlewoman's time has expired. Somewhere Gentlewoman's in the time has expired. Bill. She is no longer recognized. The gentleman from Missouri reserves. The gentleman from Kentucky is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I will say in response to the gentlewoman from Colorado, um, this is typical of what the Republicans are doing. First of all, they're making up numbers. There's nowhere anywhere that says that 87,000 new IRS agents are going to be hired in this bill. That is a totally fabricated number. And the idea that they're armed, I know that Ms. Bobert would like everybody to be armed, as they are in, in her restaurant, but that's not what IRS agents do. So I would implore my Republican colleagues to cut out the scare tactics, quit making things up, and debate the substance of this bill. Gentlewoman's yes, time has expired. And it does the exact opposite of what Americans need right now. This is just another con game by the Democrats calling something one thing and saying time another. Has expired. This is making the IRS, which is the time has expired. The, Pentagon, the, State the woman, Department, gentlemen the is no longer recognized. The gentleman from Missouri reserves the bell. Mr. Speaker. How much time do you need? The gentlewoman is no longer recognized. Your time, time has expired. The gentleman from Missouri reserves. Remember that so-called bipartisan infrastructure bill? Yeah, we spent $200 billion on Green New Deal initiatives. I guess that was just a down payment on this never-ending theft of American tax dollars. We are sacrificing, you are sacrificing American families at the altar of climate change.